Hi, my name's uh, Dr Kate Ringham. I'm the Programme Lead in Applied Accounting at Oxford Brookes Business School in Oxford Brookes University. And this video is looking at how to reference academic articles using Harvard referencing. Uh, so um, just to remind you, and there are a couple of other videos on referencing, so please do look at the video on why we reference and how to reference web uh, sources. Um, the referencing system that we recommend you use uh, is Brooks Harvard as a systematic referencing system. Um, the assessment criteria for the research and analysis project require the use of a systematic referencing system. If you happen to know another referencing methodology uh, because you've studied um, another subject, then please do use that. If you're brand new to referencing as an academic skill, uh, please use Brooks Harvard referencing. So within a referencing system, there are two parts to the system. There is an in-text citation and there's an entry in the reference list. So the in-text citation for Brooks Harvard referencing is the author's surname, we don't include initials, and the date, the year of publication of the article. So in this example, I have searched um, in Google for a for some information about SWOT. So our, our business model uh, method of analysis uh, called the, the SWOT. And I've discovered um, an entry called what SWOT in strategic analysis from ResearchGate. Now ResearchGate is an open access resource for academic articles. Um, and by open access, I mean that they, the PDFs are available um, without any charge and there's no need to be um, logged into a university uh, library system to access them. Um, so uh, when I click through onto that article, I find a, a PDF of the article um, and this is at the top of the page. You can see there circled in green uh, what's SWOT in strategic analysis. Well, that's the title of the article. The authors are David Picton and Sheila Wright of the School of Business at De Montfort University in Leicester. Uh, De Montfort University is a recognised UK um, university, so we can see that it is a reputable source. Um, and encircled in red, we've got their strategic change. Um, and Strat Change 7, 101 to 109, uh, in brackets 1998. Um, so this refers to the journal in which this article has appeared. So Strategic Change is the name of the journal. It appeared in volume 7 and on pages 101 to 109. And it was published in 1998. Now we would normally uh, be concerned about an article that is um, old, um, you know, pre-year 2000. Um, that's an old article. Um, but the SWOT analysis has been around for a long time. And um, if when you read this article, you discover that it is actually um, useful in maybe discussing the advantages or disadvantages of using this particular technique, and you think um, that that information is still relevant, it's not out of date, then it is acceptable to use an article that is this old. Um, and this is a very different situation from using an, a very old article if you were evaluating the external environment in which your organisation operates. So if you're, instead of thinking about the advantages and disadvantages of the use of this technique, this analytical technique itself, and we're actually thinking about what's happening in the external environment. If you were using information that's 20 years old to evaluate the external environment, that would not be good practice. Um, so this article is about the nature of the analytical tool and therefore it's acceptable to use something that's a little bit old. It's not acceptable 
to use old material if you're actually doing the evaluation itself. So how then do we reference this? Well, in the text, we give the names of the authors. Because there are two authors, we give both their names. So in this instance, we would say it's Picton and Wright, 1998. That's the author date. And the way we use that um, depends on how we're actually writing. There are a couple of videos on paraphrasing and academic writing, so please do have a look at those. But in this example, I'm paraphrasing. So I'm saying that Picton and Wright suggested. So I say Picton and Wright, and then give the date in brackets, suggested, and then whatever they suggested about the SWOT. Alternatively, I might say the limitations of the SWOT are, and I paraphrase, I put in my own words, uh, the arguments presented by Picton and Wright, but I need to acknowledge that they were the source of my ideas. So I would say um, the limitations of the SWOT are blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then I open brackets Picton and Wright comma 1998 close brackets. And what I've done there is I've taken their ideas, demonstrated I understand them by paraphrasing um, and recognised the source by including that reference. So what happens in the reference list? Well, the reference list is presented in alphabetical order. Um, and because this is an academic article, we can see that Picton and Wright, um, we give Picton and their initials, and Wright and her initial, we give the date, 1998, and then we include the title of the academic article in quotation marks and we give the journal title in italics with page numbers. So um, the title is given within quotation marks, the journal in italics. And that way we recognize which part of, the, um, which part of that phrase is the journal title and which part is the actual uh, article title. Um, and remember, your reference list is presented in alphabetical order. Um, I mentioned earlier that open access materials are really helpful. Um, well, Google do have a um, search engine that is designed for academics, um, and this is known as Google Scholar. So if you type Google Scholar into a search engine, then you will see that you come up with um, a, a a search engine that helps you um, look for uh, scholarly literature that is publicly available. Um, and so when I did a search on sustainable value chain analysis in Google, uh, Schol uh, Google Scholar, I came up with an article called The Dimensions of Sustainable Value Chains, Implications for Value Chain Analysis. Um, and this article has been published in uh, journals that are uh, published by the publishing company called Emerald. Um, so it's an international journal of change management um, and supply chain management, and it's um, an Emerald publication. But the authors have actually made a pre-publication copy available on ResearchGate. So researchgate.net uh, indicates with that PDF there indicates that the PDF is available via an open access source. And certainly within Europe, there is a big drive to make sure that there is more material available via open access sources. So when I click on that PDF, um, I have access to the article via ResearchGate.net. And if I wanted to include that within my reference list, then I could include the authors and remember, in the reference list, I give the author's surname and initial, the date of publication, and then I put the title of the article in quotation marks, and then I would put available from and give the URL that I found the article via. And I always, when I have an internet source, um, give the date at which I either downloaded or accessed that article. 
So I read the article online, so I've put accessed rather than downloaded. Um, so there's lots of other videos in the on the channel to help you with your research and analysis project. Uh, there's a video there explaining why we reference. There's a video looking at Brooks Harvard referencing for web sources. Um, and there's a video on how to reference if you're doing primary research. There's also um, videos on academic writing and paraphrasing. Please do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the material.